Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is Minister Paul in Northern California on February 5th, 2014. It's roughly 4.30 p.m. I wish I could figure out how to do a watermark. Let me go straight into this. I have a lot to say. Um, first of all, let me just address some basics. I've prayed over this for two days, and I did not want to release it. And I, was, I said, Lord, no. And it wasn't till just now that God said, just speak it boldly and confidently. Um, and I wanted to show you, okay, here's the North Star video. So one, uh, one, you can literally see, look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the eighth attempt. Two of them are already uploaded. I want to show you this um, from yesterday. And the title is Warning, March Madness Vision. Uh natural and man-made and nuclear disasters um i i think I, i'm not sure how i'm going to do this i, I th believe that this one video um i just wanted to show you this picture this story had posted today of some russian rail cars um uh that caught fire and here's a link to the article i got a lot to say and i just i just want to keep it short Everybody seen this story? I don't know. I haven't been on wine much today. Um, these box cars caught on fire 500 miles northeast of Moscow, Russia. Uh, that, that was just one of the fires. I believe it was 32 rail cars loaded with gas. And the other story, and then I'm going to go into my vision was this uh, in New Mexico uh, people following this I'm sure it's played down fire prompts evacuation of nuclear repository in New Mexico and uh, what they did was basically uh, it's called a whip I looked it up it's a W I uh, uh, P P a waste isolation pilot plant and that and so here's the story basically uh, radioactive waste is stored here and all employees were being evacuated this was about uh, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time about three and a half hours ago uh, and it says uh, multiple employees are being taken to a hospital for potential smoke and inhalation none of this made the mainstream media but here's the thing that's the title nuclear repository but here's the thing yesterday I had already uploaded a warning about this I, I i kid you not about uh man-made and nuclear disasters imminent and it's a 17 minute long video and i and i i map out new mexico california and it was texas uh arlington texas remember that arlington the city of arlington because it's it's also in arlington there's a arlington texas there's a arlington um, Virginia, there's Arlington, Maryland, and there's also a Arlington, Massachusetts. And those are just the four I know of. But the one I was keen on uh, was from uh, Texas. So as you can see, I link here to the NRC. And I want everybody to give God glory. Look, Nuclear Regulatory Commission. And uh, the one that I was keen on was... Uh, in Texas and California. Uh, one of them is here at Avila Beach. I'm just going to put everything out as quickly as possible. Put links if I can. You can go, you can come to here from the NRC link. I'll just link to the NRC. Um, that's, that's active. Diablo Canyon Power Plant. I used to live down there. It's uh, near the Bay Area kind of. And then the other one's San Ofri. It says retired and currently being decommissioned. Whatever that means. The thing leaks like a sieve. Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't it wasn't it leaking or something? And then we got Fukushima stuff coming our way. So here's the states. New Mexico wasn't listed on here in this region, so we only know one part, right? Um, but it shows the regions, and I was queuing on Texas, so um, let's go back to this. Uh, this right here, uh, Arlington, Texas. It says right here, it's the third largest municipality in the metropolitan uh, area. And it's the seventh most populous state. 
in Texas. Again, the 3-7 continues to be a pattern in my life ever since that dream so long ago. Um, and again, please note, let me refresh it here. Please, please note that I didn't rush this. I've prayed on it for two days. That this, this fourth attempt was uploaded yesterday before this, and it links to the, the, the NRC right here. I may release this, I'll pray on it, but I just think it's kind of too long and stuff. I want to reach as many people as possible. Please note that it hit the servers yesterday um, at 6.32 p.m. Because I know there's a lot of people, they're having trouble struggling and being challenged with understanding these things. I'm the only one that's viewed it. I have not even shared this with my wife. And then today, I, I made four more attempts at making it. It says fire on mass transit, Russia, New Mexico, nuclear repository, fire and evacuation, and a prayer request. I never released either one of these. I wanted to keep praying on it. But... Uh, as I looked at this, I explained in the other video, I saw like a, you can see like a evil face in this fire. This is Russia, right? Do you, is it me or do you not see like an evil face? Remember in the 9-11 photo, there was a, it looked like a demon in the photo. Well, look at this. Do you not see an evil face there and these men are running from it? I, I, I see three evil faces. Tell me what you see. I'll put a link to all this and do my best to somehow make this make sense. And then I'll also include the word of God as always, Luke 21, 25, which again is a three and a seven. Now, let me share this vision. I have to upload this and make it public before this day ends. And I don't, I wanted everybody to see the reason why I went through all that was to show you, I didn't rush this. I've actually made it. This is the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is the ninth attempt at this same subject. I believe that there is a, there is a nat, just exactly like this is. I believe that there's natural, I'm gonna read it. Listen, I'll give you the, I'm gonna play a little bit of it. This Minister Paul, and it's uh, Northern California, February 4th, 2014. And we praise the Lord. I'm gonna, uh, <coughs> I don't know what really to title this, so. Father God, in the name of so Jesus So then I Christ. began to pray. That was yesterday, like on my fourth attempt. I don't know why I've had so much trouble putting this out. But I believe that this will uh, come to pass. And I say that with full confidence. Um, that uh, a natural and a man-made and a nuclear disaster is going to hit. Now, in my vision, now remember, we only know in part. So I don't know where or when. People always want to know where and when. But... In my vision that I had, and I'm going to explain my vision and hit stop, and hopefully it's less than 10 minutes. It was the West Coast. And I know many, many watchmen and watchers and messengers for, uh, of God have had the same vision of the West Coast with a tsunami and an earthquake like Cindy and Seho Song, Alpha Zapata. Um, I don't, I, there's so many, I can't even name them off the top of my head. Cindy IMP, I think it is. But I mean, I have one that has over 50,000 views. I mean, clearly there's an interest in this. I haven't watched it for months and it, people continue to watch it. The other vision I had in 2009, only I thought it had about 200 views and I revisited it while I was praying yesterday and it has 2,500 views. And uh, it just ran kind of long, but that's what I saw coming. You see that? Now remember, this is a vision, so let's just keep it on that. See, and this is a year ago, August 1st, 2012. A great earthquake and tsunami, Northern California, then the rapture. So let me share my vision, and I'm not claiming the rapture to know the day or time or hour, none of that. I'm just, I'm going to share my vision. It's up to you to pray over it. Ask the Lord, what does it mean? And if it means anything at all, have him you know, it's the Holy Spirit that reveals things in our life. That that's uh, that's that's your prayer is to real reveal to me the truth. Because men are fallible, and God's word is infallible. And but His word does say, 
you know, that these things will come upon us. And I, this is the scripture I was just given. It says, uh, and there will be signs in the sun and the moon and the stars and upon the earth to stress the nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. Does that sound like a, a tsunami? Men's hearts failing them with fear if you're looking for those things which are coming on earth for the power of heaven shall be shaken. Also reference um, Matthew 24. Basically, Jesus is asked, what is the sign of your coming and the end of the world? And, uh, and, he, and he gives all these signs and they're all being fulfilled one by one. Wars, rumors, wars. In my vision, I'm in this church and I'm working on the door. And the church is half empty. And God speaks to me. And he says, Paul, where are all my people? And then I had this. I had this flash picture in my head of all the lines of all the bars in downtown Sacramento, K Street. And that, that's why I'm showing you this map right here of K Street right here. That's down. It's called Midtown Sacramento. It's uh, in the, it's east of the downtown area, like around 16th through 20th Street. It's where they go to, to the clubs. It's, to, you know, people go there and get killed. I don't know why. Here we go again with the long video, but. I just, every time I think of Midtown Sacramento, my spirit gets grieved. So pray. So I had this flash of them. They were paying 15 to $20 cover charges to go into these fancy clubs, like one's called Ultra Lounge that I know of. Um, and the only reason I know about these clubs is because of my work in the security industry. Um, you know, because they, they have armed guards at the door and people still get shot going down there. It's bad. Some of them, they have the police. They have uh, armed police at the door. I kid you not. That's how bad it is. And people still get shot. Um, but thank, thank the Lord that he took me out of that industry. So, I said to the Lord, he, when he had said, where are all my people, Lord? And I said, they're, they're in the bars late last night and they're hungover and now they're home watching basketball, uh, March Madness and they're putting uh, other things before you. It's idol tree, Lord. I said, they're putting other things before you. That's why they're not here. And he said, the true madness is that I have an altar that's open for them and my blessings are free and that they would pay to slowly kill themselves and go to hell. He said, that's the true March madness. Now, remember, I had this vision in 2009. Why is it bringing Lord, why is God bringing it up to me again today? In February 2014, I ask this of you. So then I go, help me, Lord, with this vision, man, not my ninth attempt. So so I look up and I see something exactly like you're seeing here. There was a great earthquake. The power went out and there was, I see something like this, a big, huge storm cloud of radioactive dust and water and everything you can imagine. I've never seen anything like it. This was the best I could find at the time back then last year to resemble what I saw coming upon uh, my city here. And it was coming towards right where, so I look up, let me speed up and finish. I'm, I'm, if I talk fast, I'm sorry. There's people driving, there's people on bicycles, there's people on roller skates, there's people uh, on uh, motorcycles, there's people running male and female to the church. And I'm thinking, man, they should have been here an hour ago. You know, now they're coming. And they they waited too long, and God spoke to me. Now I'm really seeing this so vivid as if I can recall it in my mind, like I'm watching a movie. This is the the most vivid vision I've ever had in my life. One of the two, and and God says, "Close the door, Paul." And I'm and I I, I paused for a minute, cause so I closed the door, and He says, "Now lock it." And I'm thinking, man, God's closing the door on the ark. And so I asked God, I said, God, they will perish. And you know what, God? I said, you, you sure you want me to lock the door? And, and God just spoke two words. He said, too late. And then all of a sudden I hear this, bam, 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 bam. Help us, help us, help us. We're, you know, we're going to die. The storm's coming. There's an earthquake. Why are you locking us out? Open the door. And I will, uh, the vision stopped. I actually began to cry. And now we're back in real life and the vision's over. 
And my wife said, are you okay? I said, I just had the most disturbing vision I've ever had in my life. People were perishing. And God told me to close the door. The ark is closed. And and then, and then uh, she could just feel my sadness and because I'm like crying. And tears are coming out of my eyes. That's how real this was. And so I asked the Lord. And that this, remember, this was in 2009. I said, Lord, would you really do that? Because it was so real and it was so vivid and people were actually going to per perish and God was in total control of everything. I said, God, would you really do this? I mean, because it sounds shocking. Some people believe this won't happen, but his word says it will. Again, a two word answer from God. He said, ask Noah. That's all he said. So then, so ever since then, the Lord has told me to study what was happening as in the times of Noah and compare them as they are today. I am 100% guaranteed in my mind that this will happen. The word says it will happen. And I'm asking you to pray and to pray for the watchmen and women. Many people are under attack. And because look at this, all these things happening, um, you know, me having so much trouble trying to release this and uh, the, the attack. I believe it, it. I believe that there's several things coming to this world. I believe, you know, I, I believe a false flag, they'll, they'll do something nuclear. I believe there'll be earthquakes. Let's look. I haven't looked in a while. There'll be earthquakes. Um, and I believe that the United States is in trouble. And as a watchman on the wall, I would not be doing my job if I did not upload this this harbinger, this sign, this warning. And I want to make sure that you know that the Lord brought this back to my memory yesterday. And then today, this happened. There, I don't believe in that many coincidences. And especially that the reporting it happened at 11 a.m. When the video I made yesterday was, do you keep seeing 11-11? I'm going to hit end and ask for prayer. Shalom.